This is a guide on how to speedrun Pelagic 2 exploration. The time I set is 4 minutes 32 seconds, but your target time is much more than that. You've got 6 minutes and 42 seconds to do this level. So you have plenty of time if you're going for the gold star uh, leaderboard crown and you're following my other target times. Because this level is a bit of a maze, I can see how it could be off-putting to speedrun. Um, because you know you could get lost and that'll take away a lot of your time. So hopefully, I mean I think I found the quickest route to do this level and this very first part I want you to make sure and try not to let the guard set off any of the alarms and I'll show you why in a little minute. Um, this level reminds me a lot of the frigate from Goldeneye and I think that's because, well, both take place on a ship but also there are multiple routes throughout this whole level. It's one level that feels really open plan and and I suppose as T.S. Eliot said, there are many cunning passages. I don't think he was talking about uh, Perfect Dark when he said that. So try not to let these guards set off the alarm at the start and uh, the reason for that is um, it just makes it a little bit easier. So this next part I'm about to go in and turn this thing off. Because I didn't set the alarm off, none of the guards spawn in here and it just makes things a little bit easier more than anything. To be honest, I think this first part is probably the hardest um, part in this run. So if you can get a reasonable um, amount of health after doing that part, you should be fine. And just follow my route up to these uh, scientists. There are three you have to knock out. There's a camera outside that door, but if you run fast enough, uh, you can actually run straight past it. So once you pa uh, punch out all these uh, scientists, you get um, some lab discs and that completes objective two. We're now gonna go up to the next objective and there's a few guards to take out, so get your weapon back out. At this next part you have to talk the guys into turning off the um, GPS. There will be one uh, every time that will uh, uh, betray the other ones and try and uh, actually shoot them. So I just um, do, I think there's a way of speeding this up, I just do this little trick where I lock onto one of them and I kind of point in the direction of the other one. So whenever one pulls his gun out I just shoot him then walk over and you talk to the other guy and tell him to switch it off. So once that's done just uh, get your way back out of there. So we're now going to go down and complete objective one. Uh, we could have done this at the start of the mission but it's kind of on the way. Um, shoot the camera there and switch to your x-ray uh, glasses and there are four of these little green buttons we have to press. Um, make sure you don't double press them because it kind of messes things up like it did for me. Um, that opens the hatch down here which you can just quickly run over and press and get out of here. There are a few other cameras around this area but I just kind of run past them, I don't really... You have to be standing in front of them for quite a bit to actually um, set them off. Um, and there are a few more guards, these are the last guards that you really have to worry about. Uh, we're on the way down here to get Elvis now. You'll want to be really careful at this point because there are only a few more enemies left to kill and they are kind of tricky because they're behind walls and you're not really too sure which way to turn. I actually switched to my x-ray vision there just so I could see where uh, these guards were and um, I kind of run out of ammo as well um, so I just pulled out the falcons and that was a bit of a dodgy move there, I kind of risked getting killed um, there, I just like jumped down because yeah I didn't want to waste too much time and it didn't really go in my favour but I managed to pull myself out of it. Dying here would be really frustrating so um, because you're so close to the end I have really difficult to do. There's two guys who stand at the bottom of these stairs I thought I'd be smart and throw my laptop and um, although it didn't kill them both it was enough to uh, distract them. So you may be wondering at this point why my um, target time is so drastically different to the time I've set and that's because since first playing this and getting my gold crown I found a much quicker way and, and it turns what could be a sort of difficult level into a much easier one. And Technically I, I don't have to kill anyone else here but I took this door instead and I did have to kill these two guys. There may be some stragglers left, um, but this way I, I went this way just a little bit quicker. And I'm going to show you a little trick here that is going to save you potentially about two minutes worth of gameplay. If you switch to the X-ray scanner, you can actually access this door. Um, it shouldn't you shouldn't be allowed to do this. You should have to kill a whole bunch of guys to get to this area. And um, yeah, that's just a much quicker way of finishing the level. And uh, that's how I got a pretty good time on it. So I hope this video helped you too. Um, if you are still struggling on this level, I recommend you put it on agent mode. 
and just kill everyone on the level and just walk around the ship and get familiar with where you're going um, because it can't be easy setting times on a level you don't really know your way around. The next level on the Perfect Agent speedrun guide is Deep Sea Nullify Threat and you can watch that by clicking on the video to the left. The individual crown for this level is Tick Tick Boom and you can watch that by clicking on the video to the right. If you'd like to support my channel you can do this on Patreon by clicking on the orange button below. For as little as $1 a month you can get early access to my videos and it would really help me out. Another way to stay in touch is through Twitter, I'm pretty active on there and I'll probably follow you back if you message me. Or you can just subscribe for the next video. Thanks for watching and I hope this helped you set a good time.